Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money, the Worry-Free Retirement, with your host, nationally recognized retirement specialist and six-time author and fiduciary, Tony Walker. Over the past several decades, the one thing I have discovered in working and meeting with thousands of savers is that being single and having to go it alone in retirement is a real life circumstance for those who are already single as well as those who are currently married but one day will be single due to the death of their spouse. Over the past two weeks on the Worry-Free Retirement, we have shared with you several different case studies we call the Whiteboard Show or real life retirement planning situations I run into on a regular basis and how we at Tony Walker Financial help to map out a strategy so that those savers could be worry-free. Today, we conclude our whiteboard series with one of the more common retirement planning cases I work on. In fact, in 2022, we had 50 such cases just like this one. The very real life situation when a spouse loses their mate and must go it alone in retirement. As you might imagine, with over 3,000 clients, most of who are over the age of 55, is it any wonder that we must deal with the death of loved ones on a regular basis? So whether you are already single or worried about becoming single and all the financial decisions you're gonna have to make on your own, let us look at our final case study as we go to the whiteboard and see exactly what we're dealing with here. And I'm gonna talk uh, right off my cheat notes here. In this particular segment, we're going to describe this actual case that happened just several months ago. So here it goes. First of all, this was a husband and wife, 63 and 61. He passed away, okay, in April of this year, and this was totally unexpected. Uh, had a rare form of cancer, passed away very suddenly, very sad situation, and of course left her at age 61 to go it alone. Uh, let's see, he, his salary prior to his death was around $120,000 a year. Uh, she had been a stay-at-home mom, had some part-time income, but basically was stay-at-home full-time while he was working. Uh, let's see, he had a 401k of around $300,000. I'll put H for husband, W for wife. She has an IRA, it's a Roth, of about $50,000. Uh, let's see, uh, home debt. Let's look at some debts here that she's gonna have to deal with. Owes about $200,000 on her home. Uh, I think there was $15,000 yeah, 15, debt on the car. Let's put brackets around that, meaning debt. And then a credit card of about $5,000. Uh, money in the bank, savings, Let's see, that was around $30,000. And at looking at this, this is a typical situation I might see with a married couple who's making this kind of money. Not bad. However, he was not planning on retiring anytime soon. In fact, we'll see this in our next segment. What were their goals and what are her concerns now that he's passed? He was going to work another four or five years. So they really hadn't thought much about planning for retirement, which is all the more reason, folks, even if you don't think you're getting ready to retire in the next year or two, if you're over the age of 55, you need to get a game plan and you're gonna see why. And then finally, uh, let's see, this was the trump card out of all of this. Fortunately, his employer provided an opportunity to buy group term life insurance, so he also had $500,000 of life insurance that was payable to her, which by the time she got to me, she had said she had already cashed the check and put it in the bank account. By the way, if you run and put that much money in the bank account, the blue lights are gonna sound at the bank. So be careful whenever you receive a large amount of money, we're gonna talk about found money in just a few minutes. Be careful about rushing off and investing that or letting others talk you into doing that. 
You first must have a plan, and we're going to see how we set up a plan for this young lady. But that life insurance, the reason I love life insurance so much, it's the only thing that's going to pay immediately, and it's all tax-free. So when I come back, we're going to actually go through this case study. The next segment, we're going to talk about her goals and concerns moving forward in retirement and where Tony Walker Financial stepped in to make sure that she's worry-free and doesn't feel like she's going it alone. I'm Tony Walker. Stay tuned. You're watching the Whiteboard segment. We'll be right back. Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a pension buyout? Has the company you work for moved, been acquired, or closed its doors forever? And finally, do you have a 401k with a previous employer you'd like to move to safer territory? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k or lump sum pension to Tony Walker Financial. Let's meet in person to discuss your retirement options. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your free, no obligation appointment. Let us help you today. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement Hour. Live well, die broke moment actually happened the other day as a nice couple who had traveled a great distance to come to see me for their first appointment said this, Tony, you're not going to believe this, but on our way to your office, we stopped for lunch at a local Chinese restaurant and upon getting our check was handed this fortune cookie and we just thought you'd get a kick out of it. So let's read what the fortune cookie said. I love this. You will chart a new path towards independence today. Now, as someone who has been known to have a keen eye for marketing ideas, I quickly seized the moment by having our own Gina Tutwiler, who is in charge of ordering all of our marketing gadgets and gizmos, to find a supplier that could provide 5,000 fortune cookies that all say the same thing this one did, and then we could hand those out to prospective clients and make our job so much easier. Gina, what are you up to now? Just another one of Tony's harebrained marketing schemes. It's not enough that we've got all this, the piggy banks, the bobbleheads, the live well, die broke. We had to deliver 2,000 cardboard cutouts to Tony. You know, we, we've got it all. Now a prospective client brought up fortune cookies. Mm. So now I'm ordering 5,000 fortune cookies. Okay, well you have fun with that. Chinese food does sound pretty good though. Okay, back to our case study. I'm gonna walk over to the whiteboard. Again, I've got my cheat notes here. This is what the introduction is. In case you're just now joining us, we had a young lady who unexpectedly lost her spouse, and now we're getting into some of the concerns she has and what we're gonna do in terms of her goals moving forward as she goes it alone. First of all, one of her goals was to whether she should pay off debt. Remember, folks, we talk a lot about cash flow on this show. The reason most people are not familiar with retirement planning and why you need to make sure your advisor is trained in the art of retirement planning, retirement planning is about cash flow first, investment second. What most advisors still do, they think of accumulation. They think like most people are 40 or 50 years of age. Now, keep in mind, we work with savers. We're not working with investors and speculators. But savers, when they get into retirement, or like this young lady that now is going in alone, they have to minimize the money going out what we call the back door. So this is a great question. Should she pay off her debt? Remember, she had $200,000 of home debt, uh, $15,000 of car debt, and $5,000 of credit card debt. The next thing is, what about Social Security? Okay. Remember, in this case, her husband was planning on working four or five more years all the way to full retirement age, was gonna get a nice social security check, which again, she would be able to draw part of that and continue to live. Well, now she's not gonna get her social security and she's gotta decide when to draw his. So less cash flow for sure, it's gonna be coming in from social security as a re result of his death. And then the other big issue, and this was one that most people kind of forget about, between now and 65, she was under his health insurance, which was not a real big expense. Most of that was paid for by the employer. Now that he's deceased, she has no health insurance. Where in the world is she going to get health insurance? Well, she could go out and buy an individual policy, but that's going to be very expensive. So she asked us something about the exchange, or what we like to call Obamacare, and we said, that's going to be your ticket. You're going to want to take and get insurance coverage 
through the, uh, through the federal government, through Obamacare, because that way you can receive larger subsidies. Now you might say, all right, well, how does she qualify for that? And with all these assets back over here, which ones should she spend and take in order to stay within the limits of these subsidies so that she can get more of a subsidy and pay less in fees and premiums for her health insurance? Well, in this case, what we're gonna do, because she's got about a four-year window, again, we've got to accomplish this between now and 65. When she turns 65, we can get us through Tony Walker Financial, we offer these. We can get her a Medicare supplement, which will be very minimal in cost, but she's got about a four-year window that could be pretty expensive if we don't get on the Obamacare. But wonderfully, okay, we still got money. So, and I'm gonna show you this in our next segment. This $500,000 of life insurance, this is allowing us to do so much for her as you'll see in the next segment. Because that life insurance, remember, I like to say it's cold, hard, tax-free cash. When that life insurance is paid, it's the only insurance that does this, by the way, folks, without any claim resistance from the insurance company. All you need is a death certificate to prove your death, but that 500,000 is gonna flood in tax-free, unlike the 401k, like if she took that right now, unfortunately, she'd have to pay taxes on it. That's not a good asset to start drawing on, especially between 61 and 65. So when I come back in the next segment, we're gonna go through our recommendations and show you how we're gonna help this lady be worry-free and how she's not gonna be going it alone. No, she's gonna have a trained retirement planning firm and Tony Walker Financial to help her along the way. Good stuff as we conclude this segment. Coming up, what to do when you lose a loved one or if you're single, either regardless of your situation and have to go it alone. I'm Tony Walker, stay tuned, I'll be right back. With the uncertainty of the stock market, our nation's debt spiraling out of control, and inflation running rampant, now may be the best time to consider moving your 401k to safer territory. My name is Tony Walker, and for over 38 years, I've made it my life's mission to help savers worry less about money, and I wanna help you too. To speak with me at no cost or obligation, why don't you log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com or simply call the toll-free number on your screen. Welcome back, folks, to the Worry-Free Retirement. I'm Trey Jurgens, a full-time fiduciary here in the Louisville office. Uh, one thing Tony preaches to our staff is the importance of our proprietary income software. The game plans that we lay out for our clients, we refer to all the time. We actually had someone come in to visit with Tony, uh, first appointment, and just recently had a cardiac issue, actually a heart attack, and it came to the uh, realization that he had no game plan in place and his wife really had no idea of their financial affairs. It actually took that for him to realize that he doesn't have a game plan, and he actually sat down and we came up with one for him. A game plan that both they and our staff can refer to to make sure they're living a worry-free retirement. Uh, earlier in the show, we mentioned this particular graphic talking about the number of clients we have that are over the age of 55, well over 3,000 people. It just bodes well for our experience in the field of retirement planning. I've got to share this though, if you'll notice that, we have one client, believe it or not, who still works part-time, who is 101 years of age, Mr. Lee Robertson. Way to go out there, Lee, and uh, of course, we love you, brother. Keep up the hard work. Okay, now back to our show, this Tony in the Trenches. Man, this is a doozy. It says, Tony, I heard you talk about this notion of found money. What do you mean by found money? And can you provide some examples of found money? This comes from Kathy out of Campbellsville. Well, that's a great question. And let's first define the term found money. Found money is any significant amount of money you receive that you had previously not planned on receiving. For instance, found money could be a sizable gift, an inheritance, a bonus from work, stock options granted from work, the unexpected sale of property, life insurance, and yes, hey, even winning the lottery. The problem with found money is that in many cases, this money, which should be money you could enjoy all the rest of your life, sometimes becomes more of a curse than it does a blessing. My opinion on why found money can create unnecessary worry is because most people receiving found money had not planned on receiving it. 
So it's really important to understand this. In fact, I think this is such an important topic. Next week on our show, all we're going to talk about is the issue of found money and why this sometimes can be a huge problem for you and your family. Good show coming up next week. All right, back to our topic here. Uh, we got to finish out the show kind of understanding. We'll walk over back over to the whiteboard. First of all, we started with the introduction. We had a 63-year-old and 61-year-old couple. The 63-year-old male had passed away suddenly, and basically she's in a tailspin wondering what to do and came approach us. Again, this was not a previous client. They came to us she had watched the show for years, and we find this out quite a bit. People say, well, I've watched the show a long time, and I say, well, what brought you in today? And it's things like this. Uh, maybe they are being downsized. Maybe they've decided to retire. They lost a loved one. A lot of things can precipitate the need for someone like us, and we were certainly grateful that this young lady allowed us to help her. So again, she's got several questions, whether to pay off debt, when to take Social Security, what to do about health insurance and qualify for the government subsidies, especially between 61 and 65, and basically just how to live out her life worry-free with someone in her corner so she wouldn't feel like she was going it alone. So let's walk over to the actual recommendations. And we have to kind of compartmentalize all of the income. So we know that Social Security will eventually be part of her income. Right now, we're going to delay that for a several years, okay, and draw on his Social Security. She's not going to have any Social Security, whereas before, if both of them had been living, he would draw Social Security. If he waited to full retirement and she waited to her full retirement age, she could draw one half of his. Now that's not a possibility. She's going to have to live on his Social Security. Rather than taking a, a decrease in that amount, we're going to let that grow. We don't need the money right now anyway. Uh, we've got that uh, 401k, okay, Again, we might take a little bit of money out of that. In fact, at Tony Walker Financial, we find ourselves doing this more and more. Our tax department, which by the way, we don't do your taxes. What we're trying to do is do tax planning. So you'll still need someone to prepare your taxes. But what our tax department can do is can come in here, look at how much money we can take out of this. Remember, any money we roll over to us from this 401k and put into our split IRA concept will be taxable. Well, why is that important, Tony? Because if we're trying to get a subsidy from the government for health insurance, they're going to limit that subsidy if we pull out all of this taxable income. So our offices will calculate how much reasonably we can take out of that tax-infested IRA and not affects the subsidy. All right, they have savings. Okay. The good thing is, let's see, what was that? That was about 30000 we don't even need to touch that right now. This is going to be her emergency fund. We're going to leave that alone. She didn't want to spend any of that. And you say, well, how can she do all this, Tony? She got all this debt she's wanting to pay for. How's she going to pull this off? That's where the life insurance comes in. And remember, life insurance, this is why, depending on your age and assuming you can qualify for it, you want to really consider life insurance. It's very much undersold and underappreciated, but in retirement planning, if you have life insurance, you're going to see it makes retirement planning so easy. This is why yours truly, I have a lot of whole life insurance on myself because I want to make sure that my family gets tax-free proceeds, that I can have access to the money, plus it allows me to spend and enjoy my money without the fear of running out, and that's where the annuities come in. So again, depending on your age and whether you're insurable and can get it, you're going to see in a minute, this $500,000 of life insurance allowed her to do things that normally she wouldn't have been able to do financially. So what are we going to do with that? We're going to knock out the $200,000 house payment. We'll subtract that from there. We're going to knock out the car payment, subtract that from there. We're going to knock out the credit card, subtract that from there. Still leaves her, uh, what is that, about another $270,000. And remember, this is all tax-free money, folks. So think about this. From a cash flow perspective, again, retirement planning is not about trying to grow your money and invest it and find the latest, greatest deal to make 20%. It's all about managing your cash flow, which is what a trained retirement specialist such as Tony Walker Financial is trying to do. We're not trying to grow all your money at all costs. We're trying to get this money in a safe position, keep your costs down so that you can use and enjoy this money. So then we came over, so she's got that. So think about this. Her house payment was around $1,800 a month. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Her car payment was about $500 a month. And she was putting about $500 a month before her husband's death on this credit card. So if you add that up from a cash flow standpoint, what is that, $2,800 money? Yeah, that's $2,800 a month 
plus that we have in our pocket, meaning we don't have to use as much money to come up with all this extra money just to make all these payments. And again, back to the subsidy effectively damaging what we're trying to do there. And then finally, what we did, we took that 401k, and again, we split that out in our split IRA concept with that wonderful Charles Schwab platform at only eight tenths of 1%. And then we put her on the back end of that 401k, now that IRA, some of our beloved So now what we have is a plan. We have a safe plan. We don't have a lot of risk in this plan. She knows what her cash flow needs are. She still has plenty of cash available. We'll invest that if we want to, but for now, we're just telling her to kind of sit tight, get used to dealing with the grief associated with losing a spouse, and you leave the worry of the money up to us. That's what we're really good at, and we can help you. And so maybe that's you right now. Maybe you're single, been single all your life, maybe recently divorced, maybe you've lost a loved one recently, or maybe you're concerned about losing a loved one and having to go it alone. You don't have to do that. Do this right now. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, click on that Let's Get Started button. We have an ingenious idea for you to find out if we can be of help. It's called the free 10-minute fiduciary phone call. Absolutely free, no obligation. You'll be talking to the owner of the company. That's me. And we're going to find out if we can be of help to you. And if we can, we're going to meet with you in person at either our Bowling Green, Louisville, or Lexington, Kentucky offices. So do it now, TonyWalkerFinancial.com, or call the number on your screen. Well, we talk around here about sleep insurance all the time. What is sleep insurance? And what would the Bible have to say about the amount of money you're trying to save for the future and how it could affect your sleep at night? Tony Walker, i got to give me a cup of coffee for this one. I'll be right back. Are you retired or retiring soon? Do you have a 401k, IRA, 403b, thrift savings account, or lump sum pension that you'd like to move to safer territory? Did you know that all the money you see on your 401k statement isn't really yours? Depending on your overall taxable income, the government has essentially a lien on your 401k that can tax as much as 40% of your money when you go to take it out. Tony Walker calls this the 401k tax tumor. For almost 40 years, retirement specialist Tony Walker has helped thousands of savers worry less about money by creating game plans to deal with your tax tumor. Get control of your retirement by controlling the taxes owed on it. Schedule a free meeting to see if you can reduce your tax tumor and provide a guaranteed income you can never outlive. To get started, simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. I don't know about you, but I have very strange sleep habits. In fact, as I put the finishing touches on today's show, it was 3 a.m. as I was working on that, a time of day, quite frankly, that I feel I'm at my best in terms of creative ideas for this show and other things I might be working on. My wife, who is a retired nurse and, as evidenced by this photo, greatly benefited from a recent visit to the Fountain of Youth in Drakesboro, Kentucky, worries about my lack of sleep and how I constantly run so hard on very little of it. She tells me that when I wake up in these odd hours to just go back to sleep. Chalking up this need for needing very little sleep, I just assume God has hardwired me this way. Kind of like Thomas Edison, who when asked about the crazy sleep schedule he kept, he said this, I sleep when I'm sleepy and I eat when I'm hungry. To which I would add further in my own sleepless view on wasting time while sleeping, I found that it's hard to get a lot done when you're asleep. These past three episodes with our many case studies have hopefully proved to you, the viewer, that our goal at Tony Walker Financial is to help savers get a better night's sleep by working tirelessly to help you create personalized game plans that you can count on. Why? So that you can get a better night's sleep, something we like to refer to as... Yet, I realize that no matter how much we plan for the future of our clients, one thing is for sure. Nothing stays the same, and worries will still come our way. Yet, with so many different financial opinions on money coming our way, is it any wonder that so many savers lose sleep over the fear of one day running out of money? 
the fear of paying too much in taxes, the fear of getting tossed into a nursing home, and yes, the fear of losing a spouse and having to go it alone with no game plan in place. Funny as I think about work, sleep, and worry, one thing I can tell you is this. When we are all working hard and keeping our noses to the grindstone, we tend not to worry much about money. But then, this notion of having to stockpile money for the future and one day retire, well, that's when the real worry begins. You know, the Bible speaks to this idea of working hard and getting a good night's sleep versus the worries that come along with stockpiling money for the future and trying to make it last as long as we do. In Ecclesiastes 5.12, it says the following, The sleep of the worker is sweet, whether he eats little or much, but the abundance of the rich man permits him no sleep. So if we are naturally going to lose sleep worrying about an abundance of money and trying to make it last as long as we do, how can we strike a balance between working for a living and saving for the future? Well, after watching this scenario play out in real time with more than 3,000 clients we serve at Tony Walker Financial, here's my take on the matter. Live well, die broke. You see, folks, as the old saying goes, you really can't take this stuff with you. And in the end, whether you have a little or a lot, we all die broke, which is why I wrote this book, to remind savers that you can strike a balance between money and worry, but to do so, you'll need three things. First, a local independent retirement planning firm experienced in the art of retirement planning. Second, you're gonna need a written game plan that will not only show you what you have, but when and how you can best spend and enjoy it. And finally, if you're going to keep from running out of money, you must secure from Tony Walker Financial some of that beloved mailbox money. So rather than losing sleep over your future, take control of it by getting with us and doing what the Bible says. Count the cost. See what you are losing in the way of taxes, fees, and yes, the loss of enjoyment of this money by waiting way too long to spend it. Let us help you sleep better at night by taking on the worries of retirement for you. That is what we do, and we're really good at it. You got it? Well, good. So, assuming this idea of worrying less about money in retirement and putting in place this written game plan that is only offered through Tony Walker Financial is a good idea, well, let me throw this out. It's called the free 10-minute fiduciary phone call, and here's how easy it is and quick to find out if we can be of help. Just log on right now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. You're going to click on that Let's Get Started button, and then I'm going to be following up. That's right, the owner of the company, and we're going to find out if we can be of help to you. Then after this brief phone call, if it warrants, I will be happy to meet with you at either our Bowling Green, Louisville, or Lexington, Kentucky offices. So do it now, TonyWalkerFinancial.com, or call the number on your screen. Well, next week, we're excited about the program coming up. It's what to do with found money and how ironically, sometimes this found money is more of a curse than it is a blessing. But between now and then, you remember, if all else fails, you be worry-free and make it a good one.